Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about OCC on chip clock controller. This is going to uh, switch between the scan clock, this is scan clock, and the functional clock. So functional clock frequency is always higher than the scan clock frequency. So for normal shift operation, the scan enable is one. Scan enable is one. So when the scan enable is one, so this is become zero. So this part zero is passing here. And now you see scan enable is one. So this is selected and this one is selected. So this is our scan clock and this is routed to the output. So like this, this is routed. So because uh, in test mode, TM also one. So this is one. So our scan clock is going to be pulse when the scan enable is one. So this is a generalized architecture for OCC. So when scan enable is one, the scan clock is going to be pulse. Next, <clears throat> suppose when scan enable is zero, You see here, during the capture, scan enable will become zero. So it is zero. So one is uh, applied here. So now the output of this queue is one. Because here the, this one is a sync flop. Uh, scan clock is pulsing. So that uh, output of uh, it will shift the value of one here. Now you see the scan enable is zero here. So th this is zero. So this is zero means it is going to select this one this is going to be pulse so here we have a functional clock functional clock is going to be pulse when scan enable is zero the functional clock is going to be pulsed so during capture loc if you go with loc or los normally we will go with the loc so mm, we need uh, two capture pulses when the scan enable is zero so for that, we just analyze the circuit. Let us assume here it is one and remaining two are zeros. Remaining two are zeros. So this, this is zero. So we will get one here. So one, one will get one here. So we are in at speed testing. So the selection input at speed mode. So it is one. So it is selected. So the enable input is one for one clock cycle. So we will get a functional clock we will get a functional clock here next <clears throat> uh, again the next clock pulse it is shifted here and it is zero it is zero again the same thing we will get and one more clock pulse here suppose for the next clock pulse it this one is shifted here so we have a three ones one one and one so now it will become zero so the and gate output of this and gate will become zero and the enable signal will become zero <clears throat> so the clock will uh, this is zero enable is zero so clock will not going to be pulse so we, during at speed to generate a two at speed clock pulses we go with the occ without occ we can't able to generate the two at speed clock pulses so occ will generate the two at speed clock pulses Okay, this is about uh, OCC. So if you want in-depth explanation, please go through the uh, material. So please do subscribe and share my channel.